Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. Now, just for fun, nothing serious, I've put together my Topless Wonders team. These exhibitionist girls think nothing about going into battle with their top halves on full display. Should be a really big distraction, but um, let's see if it works out that way in the game. I'll be fighting in PvP on the right hand side, which is the hardest ones you can do, and seeing if I can win. Now, what we've got here is Skylar. She's in fourth place. She causes a bone storm on four or five gem matches. May I suggest if she shook her hair from side to side at any point in the battle, she may cause a bone storm anyway. Queen Zochi is in third place. She's just got a few feathers covering up her modesty. Our perky friend there. Good little uh, treat for her. Might have been some sort of feather freeze on a four match. She flicks her feathers out of the way and causes your gaze to be inadvertently but uncontrollably locked towards an area where it shouldn't be and leaves you frozen. Star takes it one stage further. She just doesn't bother wearing a top. She wears nothing at all. She wades into battle fully naked. She's got complete disregard for looking after water, but she wears bunny ears and is naked. So she goes in the team. First place, we have Hellspawn. Now, I must admit, I don't know if this thing's a man or female. I'm not even sure if they know themselves. Besides that belly, they've not seen that area for a long time. It does look like moobs to me. So it probably is a man, but... It counts because there was literally no other choice, which was this was the only other one which was viable to put into this team. All this does is cause a low amount of damage to an enemy and disease them, and it's not going to cause triple damage because we have zero way of making a death mark on anybody. So um, our hope here is to get Star charged up and hope that magic goes on to Queen Zochi, which will do extra damage at the same time. Queen Zochi will hopefully be our main damage dealer, and if there's a storm, She'll explode five gems, which will help gain mana for the whole team. As well as that, she does have a summon when Hellspawn does get killed. It's going to happen. We know it. And Skylar is there because um, she creates a bone storm on four or five gem matches. And hopefully, if we get a charge, there's a slim chance to get a, a kill on the enemy in last place. So that is the tactics. We have little control over this because there's no hero in the team. Because all the heroes are wearing the top. And this was the rules. You can't wear a top. You've got to go in. You've got to be female too. So a bloke with no top like Orion does not count. So right hand side, as we said, what we got? Oh, God. Lord of Slaughter, Sister Superior, Apothesis, and Fist of Zorn. They're going to try and convert those gems to just annihilate us with the Lord of Slaughter. If they've got that third trait, which they have, 100% chance to ignore armor with skull damage makes that true damage. Right, we need a lot of yellow and we need it quickly to have any chance. So let's see if our topless wonders can do the job here. Right, we've got our bone storm. Scarlet's already flicked her hair out of the way. Right, let's, um, let's see if we can win this, legit. Let's see if I can actually do this. Right, convert green to skulls and yellow to skulls. So yellow is seriously bad news. So we've got a little choice here, but to take yellow, which is good, because we want yellow anyway. And I'll take it that side, because there's less chance of that being a match later on. Now, this so is going to charge Hellspawn and Star. I could really do more yellow than that. That's not worth casting yet. It's only 49% chance. If we get more yellow with this, this is going to be technically good. Okay, we should be above 50-50 now. 63% chance of an extra turn. And hopefully, the magic boost will go on Zochi. Ah, actually went on herself. So she's going to give 25 magic to a random ally next. So that is actually kind of good if she survives. All right, can't really give let them have that because if that casts... Do this and star charge star again. Hopefully we get an extra skull there. Yeah, I have to do something like that. Gonna have to wing it with this team a little, a little bit. Hope for the best. Who did that boost go on to? Uh, let's talk about onto Skylar. That's not particularly handy. All right, I'm gonna just slim chance for an extra turn, but I had to chance something there. Who's got the boost now? I should put it on herself again. Greedy woman. Give it to someone else. Maybe wearing no clothes, but don't be so selfish. 
Maybe she's jealous because everyone else is showing their bits as well. Um, can't afford another hit, but I could really do with charging up. Zochi. Right, I'm going to sacrifice Hellspawn. Oh, I think. All right, come on. Do stuff. All right, that is not too bad. That is not too bad at all. That's the main threat out of the way. And that is a handy summon from Zochi. 35% chance to summon a Harpy Mage when matching four or more gems. And if we can get rid of them, we will we'll do that. Lost Harpy Mage, but that's no big deal. Providing they don't do it again. Green to Skulls is safe. Ooh. Should I hit them or should I take a chance with this? There is a storm. All right, I'm going to risk this. Damage is the order of the day. Alright. What have we got now? 49% chance, so pretty much 50-50. Chance of an extra turn, but all these skulls there. And green to skulls at the same time. That is... A lot of skulls going on. Should I risk Skylar trying to get that? 25% chance. No, I'll do that, because I'm only one hit away then. Right, that was foolish of them. Oh, looks like I'm going to win this on the first attempt, which I was seriously was not expecting. I thought it would be much harder than this. Maybe I got a little bit lucky with the gems. But yeah. But all we lost was Hellspawn, and let's just cast this for the hell of it. And uh, yeah, and let's face it, Hellspawn was no great loss. And we win. Well, there it is. The topless wonders won it. We ended up with Harpy Mage, who broke the rules in the end because Harpy Mage is wearing a top, but there's not a lot we can do about that. But there's the video. Thanks for watching. Nothing else to say. Bye for now.